Hi there, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. I'm all about helping non-profit organizations and do more stuff online. Now, today's video, I like to talk about the web performance, like speed and security. Now, this is more like speed, and then uh, this is my website, so I tested. So on the right-hand side, you see the D rank, so which is not so good, and the performance is 54%. On the other hand, uh, on the left hand side is I got the A grade and the performance is 98%. Now, so let's take a look at this uh, the lo uh, page loaded time. So my website was before 3.9 seconds to load a fully loaded page. Uh, it's almost four seconds. And this new server I got is 1.2 seconds. So it's more than three times better performance than before. So today's video, I'd like to show you how I did it. And let me show you uh, how fast my website is. So let me see, like, let's go to my website. So it's pretty fast here. And my website has lots of image and those image icons um, these are for YouTube tutorials and look at the image and logo. So it's not really a small page here, but it's loads so fast. And then let's take a look at this page too. Once again, I got lots of images too, but there's no lagging here. Like again, it's so fast. It wasn't like this fast before. So anyhow, the reason I could make my website much, much faster, three, three times faster, was simply I changed the hosting server. On the right hand side, I got the great D, D grade. That was, I was using, it's called a shared hosting server. Uh, I think most of you guys are using shared hosting. And you probably pay about five to $10 a month. Uh, you're likely using the shared host. And uh, on the other hand, on left hand side, so when I improve that, my performance is it, called a BPS, so Virtual Private Server. Now the next one is I'd like to explain about uh, a server or hosting. Now you probably know a hard drive. Uh, most of the computer, the inside of the computer has hard drive, so which is storage. So you can store image, uh, files, uh, content, uh, lots of things you can store, right? Now, the hosting or server is hard drive in the cloud, okay? So when it comes to website, yes, you have images and you have a content, which is text. And then uh, sometimes you upload a PDF file or PowerPoint. And, and then like theme file, I use, uh, we use uh, WordPress and like plugins and lots of programming. So uh, it requires a storage. So when you go to a kind of hosting company, uh, you see price difference, right? So starting with like a $10, uh, it gives you three gigabyte space, right? And uh, if it requires more, uh, upgrade to five gigabytes, but it costs you more, 10 gigabytes, it costs you $22 in, for this particular company. So now let's quickly talk about uh, the shared server and the virtual private server, BPS. Now at the shared hosting or shared server is basically uh, you are renting a server space and shared with a bunch of guys. Uh, could be 100 websites. So that's why the performance is not really consistent. Sometimes slows down. Right, you probably experienced that. Sometimes it doesn't really load. Uh, you probably see some like 503 errors, server couldn't handle. And whereas the BPS is basically you bought the private server and you can control who you like to share. So my company uh, is using VPS and we host only my clients. So we know how many people are using and we know who's using uh, my server, right? Now, let's probably, I don't know if this is gonna be a good example, uh, but let, I'm gonna use this. 
So the shared server is like uh, we are renting a house and with a bunch of guys. And if I'm hosting my client, so I'm putting my client to this house that I'm renting and they are kind of shared with a bunch of guys. Now, BPS, on the other hand, in this case, maybe I bought a house, all right? And I invite my client. And then if I bring more clients, of course the house get uh, crowded, but I can upgrade to a bigger house so that they can live comfortably. And then uh, in this case, uh, the, you know, the, the, uh, the website doesn't lose the performance. So this is about difference between shared hosting and the BPS. I don't know if this makes sense. I hope this makes sense. And you probably wonder the price difference because the BPS is, is much, much better performance and, and it costs you more uh, compared to shared host. And this is the BPS hosting, this is Bluehost. And just to give you an idea, so just standard is 2288. So it's about 23 uh, Canadian dollars. And then, uh, and just one sec. So normally 36, okay, just one sec here. Okay, so this is a bit misleading. So 22.88 month per month. So uh, this is the 36, uh, which is a three year term. Uh, but if it, this is just one year term, I think it's a cost you $36. All right, so that's, that's pretty expensive and gives you 30 gigabytes and two gigabyte RAM, one terabyte bandwidth and so forth. So, so it's about a $36 Canadian per month. All right. And shared web hosting plan is cheaper. So this is a 12 month plan is only $6 per month. And then this gives you only one website though and a 50 gigabytes um, storage, right? So this is shared hosting. Price difference is pretty significant. And if you want to, uh, if you have multiple website, uh, you pay about $9 per month but again, so you gotta be sharing sharing with other websites. So the performance is gonna be not really consistent and not nearly as good as uh, BPS. Just so you know, uh, I never use Bluehost. I'm just showing you this, just co price comparison. And I personally, um, I use called Cloudway. So this is a great platform. Uh, but it requires you to have more technical knowledge and then uh, I I have I'm more technical person um, We have we have dedicated staff that uh, who can look after this kind of stuff So if you are just running a small organization and then just have one website Then you don't really have to use cloudways unless you have some technical staff in-house who can use this platform comfortably. If you have just small website, uh, just stick with shared hosting, although uh, the performance is not as great as BPS. Now my company is using BPS because we we'll like to offer the best performance to my client. My clients are paying more than five to $10 per month plan though. Uh, they're gonna be paying probably fifteen to twenty dollars uh, per month. Depends on that their the size of the size of their website, but um, the performance is great. And the page loading time is very important. Uh, it's effect on your SEO, the search engine ranking as well these days. So, uh, in my case, uh, most of my client case, uh, at least that the loading speed doubled or in my case tripled. So again, so this is something you wanna consider if you like to have better performance and if you, if you don't mind paying more, uh, this is a great choice. I uh, hope uh, this helps, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time.